approach. One full unobstructed side of the clear floor or ground space shall join the accessible route or join another clear floor ground space. What does that mean? So basically, if you have a element there on the wall, let's say it's a hand dryer and you have a clear floor space to it, you should have a route to get to that clear floor space. It shouldn't be obstructed. It shouldn't be dirt around it. You just put a little pad of 30 by 48 inch concrete. And then the rest of that outside that little pad is just dirt or gravel connected to an accessible route. 305.7 maneuvering clearance where a clear floor or ground space is located in an alcove or otherwise confined on all or part of three sides, additional clearance is required. There's different requirements if I'm going head on, as in the one image here on the left, as opposed to if I'm going into it sideways. Clear floor or ground space, 305.7.1 forward approach. Where can we find this? In men's restrooms. Let's say there's a urinal and we have those partitions there. Sometimes those partitions are deeper than 24 inches. So now we have to actually expand the clear floor space to 36. Give myself a little bit more room for maneuvering. Here, same thing. Now I'm going to go wash my hands. If the sink is in an alcove that is greater than 15 inches, then I have to have at least 60 inch minimum for me to maneuver and have my clear floor space. Mm -hmm.